there's many different forms of meditation. I know that it's common in some of the Eastern practices to sit in a lotus position, possibly um, watch your breathing, listen to your breath. There are other meditative techniques in other cultures, like the um, in the Jewish Hebrew culture, in the the Kabbalist, meditate, focus on each letter of the alphabet, of the Jewish alphabet, because each letter is divine. And their meditation is to concentrate and contemplate and seek the understanding and the wisdom from each letter of each word of the Torah. That's another meditative technique. The silence within, moms might call it intuition, dads might call it a gut feeling, but it's that inner knowing. I've never met a mother that standing in the kitchen didn't say to herself, I've got to check on Benny. Benny's in the bathtub, he's three years old, and I've got to check on him. And you know what? Mother's intuition is always right. Women tend to be more comfortable with the psyche. They're certainly more in tune with their psyche, related especially to their families. Men tend to get a gut feeling about business, and maybe they have a hunch. But boy, I take my hat off to the ladies. They really got one up on us. I post on Facebook every day. I post four or five posts every day. I'm a teacher. I'm giving out information that I've learned over a lifetime to inspire, to motivate, to encourage, to teach, to share information to others who are seeking. And often I see questions on Facebook posted, how do I awaken? How do I know when I'm awakened? So let's talk about awakening. Well, there's several ways of awakening. One, you could be born into this world awake. And all you have to do is remember that you're awake and not let the indoctrination cloud that, but to honor your inner knowing and trust your inner wisdom and know that you're awake and that you're conscious. Well, others maybe had that drowned out when they entered the secular school system and they got muffled and now they're 30 and they're trying to remember how it was like when they were a child. They're trying to reawaken that child. Well, when you get tired of the insanity and the bull crap and your life's not going well, and you're living in disharmony, and your finances may not be working correctly, and your relationships are not working correctly, and you're not living the loving, happy, successful, productive life that you want to be living, then it's time for a wake-up call. Maybe this wake-up call is to say, let's develop a new perspective. Let's analyze our early religious indoctrination. Let's analyze why we're holding so many expectations of others and maybe just let them be who they are and let us be who we are. Can we just be truthful about our likes and dislikes and and not wear a mask, an ego mask, Do we have to keep up with the Joneses? Or do we just need a roof over our head and a basic car and some nutritious food? Awakening can be coming back into reason, coming back into rational, logical, reasonable life. And maybe not party so much, and maybe not do so many drugs, and maybe not do so much alcohol, and maybe cut back on the social life and give yourself a few moments to reflect on your values, on your morals, on your ethics, 
on what you're giving back to the world more than what you're receiving from the world. Because when you're giving, you will receive your just rewards. Awakening can be sudden. Your world can get it turned upside down in the flash of an eye, and suddenly you're spinning out of control, and nothing else is important. Your total focus becomes on this spiritual emergency that you're having, of the world being turned upside down, you've lost your, your job, your wife's leaving you, you're getting sued by your business partner. In the last week, your life's gone to hell. Well, you know, spirit works like that. Sometimes you need to get hit on the head with a two before, have your world turned upside down, break you down to nothing, put you on the ground at a starting point of zero so you can rebuild your life because you screwed it up. Well, there's no better place to begin from the bottom because when you're on the bottom, there's only one way to go, and that's up. And if you can build step by step going up from the bottom with knowledge, wisdom, confidence, happiness, peace, you're gonna have a better life than the one you left. So sometimes awakenings can be the dark night of the soul. Maybe you lost your partner, or you've been told by the doctor you have terminal cancer. Well, is there a, a nutritious, healthy, natural way of healing this, or do I have to take chemo? Or maybe the dark night of the soul was separation from your partner, or the loss of a job, or bankruptcy. 80% of the bankruptcies are due to medical cost. Awakening is when you know in your heart that it's time for a change. And you have the courage and the fortitude to make that change.